Um, so as you as you all know, hopefully the global media campaign uh, to end FGM is, is dedicated to ending FGM. And we believe that the only way and the be not the only way, the best way to do this is by uh, empowering and supporting grassroots frontline activists to use local media uh, to end FGM. So this session, as Jeremiah has very carefully put together, is going to explain how do you do that? How do you contact us? When are we going to do it? What, what, are the, what, what are the mechanisms? So the first thing I would say, Global Media Campaign believes that by supporting you regularly every eight weeks um, at specific points in the calendar, and the next one coming up is 16 Days of Activism that begins on uh, November the 24th, um, we are supported by the UNFPA, which through, through us helps to fund uh, this grassroots activism. So the next event is, is, is the 24th of November. After that, there's um, a campaigns at Christmas, there's campaigns for Zero Tolerance Day for FGM, there's campaigns at Easter, there's campaigns at the for the summer. So how do, you, how do you get involved in these media campaigns? Well, the first thing to do is to be part of a training media training academy, but we're not excluding people who haven't been in, in the media training academy. If your heart is in ending FGM, if you're connected with the people who we're working with, you can approach your local, what we call AAA activists, who's the person organizing in your country and say that you would like to be involved in this. So what happens then is that you will be part of the WhatsApp group. So the, 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 the bone, the spine of the global media campaign is a WhatsApp community in every country. Now, to qualify for that WhatsApp group, you need to be committed to ending FGM, have, have, have demonstrated that you want to work hard to do that. And so every eight weeks then, we will be um, coming up and asking you and asking all the people on the WhatsApp group to come up with their campaign. You know, would they like to bring a religious leader to their local radio for 16 days of activism to talk about an end, of, an end to FGM and other forms of gender-based violence against women? So, so we're asking you to come up with these ideas. They, these, your ideas are then shared with your activist in your country and the best ones we fund. Now, when we say we fund, it's a maximum funding of, of, of $500 per, per uh, project. Um, and when we fund that, we expect to see uh, how, how the money spent, what programs you've made, um, and all of that is, is talked on the WhatsApp group. It's a very simple system. All you need is, to connect with the right people, to have the passion to do it and, and to do it and to, and to demonstrate, because we obviously need to be accountable for all the funding, how the funding was spent and what you did with it. Um, but the main beating heart of, of uh, GMC uh, for, for activism is in a way Jeremiah, who you've met, who's designed a whole website to, to, to serve you guys and to help to, for us to be able to do these, these grants. So that in a, in a nutshell is um, what you need to know. The, the backbone of this is, uh, is the WhatsApp group. You need to be in contact through your contact people who are already on the WhatsApp group and, and get involved. And you will learn as you go along. It's a very active place. It's a very committed place and it's a very honest place. And if you want to end FGM, you will really get a lot of satisfaction being there and we really want to welcome you. Is that? Yeah, thanks summary. a lot. Is that a fair summary, Gemma? <laughs> you are the beast of Mars. Yeah, that's a, that's a really fair summary, Mark. Thank you very much for that. Uh, we'll just dive in really um, into this as uh, Lisa also joins. We will also have a conversation after it. But the goal here is to introduce to you a masterclass that we've been working on for, uh, it's like the initial masterclass. And the masterclass is a self-service portal where you would be able to teach yourself on how to do different things on the media. And just as an introductory one, we will be uh, doing uh, how to work with GMC. So it's the same process you'll be following from time to time. I'll just go ahead and share my screen. Um, I would also advise that you don't do it uh, as I do so that we can also be fast and you don't miss some steps, but it's uh, quite straightforward. So um, let me just uh, share my screen. I'm sorry for that. Uh, can you still see my screen now? Yes. All right. You can see the homepage now. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Thank you. Um, so. 
Our website is globalmediacampaign.org or RG. Um, as you can uh, see here, I'm just going to paste it on the uh, chat box uh, for f uh, so that you can refer to it later. And uh, that's where the master classes are hosted as well. So um, I just pasted that on the chat box um, for reference after this. So you need to go to the media training hub and just for simplicity and access during this session, uh, you hover over master classes just down here. But if you click master classes, you'll still be able to access them down there. So if you click master classes, it's only one for now. And uh, you can see that it says get enrolled. Uh, so if you click get enrolled, it's going to ask you to sign in. And uh, let me just do that quickly on my end. Uh, this is just uh, my personal one, so I'm not also, I'm not accessing it from um, an administration point of view. So that's exactly what you should be seeing as well. So once you input your password, uh, you should now be able to access everything. And the reason why there is a password and you need to log in is uh, we also need to know who and who has taken the course. And from my end, I'll be able to see it uh, as well as yourself you want to, if you, you, you want to be an administrator in the future. So if you uh, since you're now logged in and you will see it on the uh, top right where it has uh, your, your, your picture and you can also log out. Once you're logged in, you can uh, start your masterclass anytime. So if you go elsewhere and just access the masterclass, you will be able to, to uh, access it. So it's the, same, it's the same link. So what you need to do um, is cl simply click this button. It might look different on your side because I had already logged using my, in using my account. But it should ask you to enroll and also uh, if you had already started enrolling then it's going to ask you to complete your class so all you need to do is just to click that button on the top right and it's going to ask you do you want to continue the, to the lesson or do you want to complete it in my case i want to uh, continue the lesson that i had started earlier and um, you can see all the lessons here so um this masterclass is uh, very short. As you can see, um, it's supposed to take six minutes and 16 seconds. If you, this is one minute, you should, you should, you'll, always, you'll always be able to see how much time is in each video, and then you can always plan. So um, it's good because you can also do it flexibly. You don't have to do all of them at the same time. You can do it uh, fast, go to your, um, just go uh, about your duties and uh, come in complete later. But uh, for an example, for for example, what you need to do, um, you just click the first video that says introduction on top here, and uh, you should uh, be able to play it. Let me know if you can't hear the. Hi, the I'm Jeremiah Kipainoi. I'm the director of communications at the Global Media Campaign to end FGM, and I am going to take you through the four things you need to know before you sign up to become an end FGM campaigner on the media. In the years we've been operating, we've learned that in order to get NFGM media campaigners up and running in their own countries, we first need to help you get together, preferably in person, at our five-day national media academies. But in this pandemic world, we've taken our teaching model online, so experienced activists can teach the newcomers in our specially designed GMC teaching hub. I am Sadia Hussein. I have been a campaigner for 13 years. I'll be teaching the masterclass on how to use social media to end FGM. The second thing you need to know is that the most essential tool is your smartphone with WhatsApp installed. And the most important thing is that you need a driving passion to end FGM. If you are looking for easy grants for going to boring webinars, that's not us. Our media tech course is run by experienced, dedicated, lifelong FGM activists. And it's hardcore and demanding. It runs on passion, not money. We have direct action media grants to get you rolling immediately after the media training, if your proposals are good enough. But funding is tightly focused on airtime, not on activists. And there'll be regular funding for great media ideas. That's it. See you in the first class. All right, so that's the introduction part of, uh, 
of the masterclass. Um, and um, on your end, you should be able to see a, a button on the top right of uh, this video. Sorry, I think we need to mute someone there. Okay, sorry for that. Yeah, so um, yeah, so on your end, you should be able to see a button on the top right that says uh, complete lesson. And um, that means uh, basically uh, telling uh, the system that you've uh, watched this video and watched this video and watched this video to the end. And then, yeah, so make sure that after every video, you click that button on the top right. Uh, you will not see on mine because I've already completed them, but you'll see a button that says complete lesson. And um, if you prefer not to watch the video or uh, you understand better by reading, uh, we have the same words, basically a transcript of the same here. So you don't have to um, uh, strain and try to take notes. Um, yeah, all through. You can always check what uh, is written here. It's a transcript. And basically that's it. So uh, after you're done here, just click the button that says go to course home. And uh, you will be able to um, go to the course uh, home and I can say complete my course. And um, you will be able to rate it. Uh, here, let's say uh, I want to rate it and I'm going to say fantastic class GMC. I don't know if you can see that tab, but uh, make sure that while you rate, um, I'm going to give myself a, um, a five star and uh, just make sure that you describe and give it stars and uh, click submit. Once you click submit, it's going to tell you, thank you for rating this course. Your rating will not be visible in the uh, page course. And if you come down here, you'll see what I typed. Uh, fantastic class, GMC. Uh, I also see someone, Sunyango Lengai, says this is an amazing masterclass. Well done, GMC. So you can also leave your rating, but please uh, watch fast before you rate it because you either will not be able to rate it before uh, watching. So um, that's it, basically. And um, if you want to log out from uh, the masterclass, just go on the top right and uh, click log out. So once you access it, it should be quite self-explanatory. One thing that I would like to mention is uh, make sure that you go through the requirements here that uh, you need. You have uh, you, you 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 are hundred percent sure that you need. You have everything for the relevant course. This could be uh, a course on how to work with GMC or how to work on mainstream media or how to become a campaigner um, on radio, something of that sort. Uh, this part that says working with GMC here, this is the category. So we're going to categorize these classes. Uh, uh, basically in different categories. So if you click here, it should take you to another page. Um, and for now, we only have that one course. But uh, as you can see on top here, it says working with GMC. So if we have future courses uh, on working with GMC, you should be able to see them here. And um, so this could be how to, um, yeah, I don't know what else we're going to come up with uh, in terms of working with GMC, but if anything uh, on that topic or on that category uh, is going to be done, then it's going to be found under this category. And you will see more and more um, populated as master classes are being built. Uh, you can also go back to the course once you're done. And um, yeah, you should be able to do it. So I'd encourage uh, you to uh, give it a try. And uh, finally, um, before maybe we can uh, do it practically or have a question and answer session, I already see nine people have registered. When you go to the website on the bottom right here, you'll see a small button that says let's talk and um, just um, leave a message there. Just click there. You can either uh chat with the one that starts here that says gmc support welcome to gmc so if you click that then uh, say hi i need uh, some help 
with the master class. If, uh, uh, if uh, one of the uh, team members of GMC will be online at that time and you'll be able to see, um, you will be you'll be able to get um, feedback right away. So um, give it a try and when you are stuck whenever and uh, it says online down here, just uh, ask and then we'll try our best to help. So that's it for the desktop version of it. Uh, if you have any questions, you can pop them, but I can just go straight to uh, giving it a try on mobile. Um, yeah. So if there is any other question, or is, if there is any question, uh, raise your hand and uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but I can just go straight to the mobile one just in case you have trouble accessing it. Should I just go straight to the one on mobile? Maybe if we have any questions, Jeremiah, what do you think? Yeah, questions are, yeah. Could, could I just suggest two things? This is Maggie here from GMC in London. Uh, I think this is going to be a fantastically useful um, uh, whole module, but there was two things that we thought might be ask you um you know when you're rating the classes also you know you can say um and suggest something if you feel um you know also say i mean i think it would be better if we could have more of this or just put in your suggestions as well feel free to say i i, I would like more of this so in the rating section and then the second thing is um you know we are working out what what we think uh, are the useful master classes how to work with religious leaders how to work on local radio how to work on tv how to raise funding but we, again, we would like suggestions from you about, you know, what you would really like the subjects that you would really like to be in these GMC UNFPA masterclasses. So please feel free to do that as well. Thank you, Jeremiah. Thanks a lot, Maggie. Um, please allow me to just go straight to um, the mobile version because it's a little bit different. And then we can just dive into the uh, question and answer sec section, if that's OK. Okay, I'll do that. Um, so I'm just going to share my screen. Can can everyone see um, the screen, the mobile screen? Can yes. you see it? Yeah. All right. So uh, as we had done before, what you need to do is to go to globalmediacampaign.org. It's going to prompt you to log in. Uh, let me just log out so that uh, you can also uh, do it with me. Um, so uh, what you need to do is uh, just go to globalmediacampaign.org when you're not logged in. So as you would normally do and um, go to the master classes section and click uh, that section. So um, this is the only section that will ask you to log in when using the GMC website and for the same reason I had asked you before. So uh, if you do not have an account, click uh, this part below that says create an account and you will be able to create your account. Your account. Uh, make sure that uh, you remember uh, your credentials, but once you register, you should be redirected to, um, to your page. But since I'm already logged in, I already have an account. Uh, let me just... Uh, quickly share it. Um, all right, so I have logged in successfully. And I hope that you will also be able to. Uh, if you have any trouble, once we are done with this, please let me know. Um, but basically, you'll be able to see the same thing on the desktop version. And um, all you need to do is just go down to uh, Media Training Hub. You can either go to the Media Training Hub straight or just hit Master Classes. And uh, from the Master Classes, again, if you do not have a specific Master Class that you're looking for, but you are a beginner in the NFGM campaign, you can easily click uh, the beginner one and uh, you will see if there are any available courses. If it's uh, an intermediate one, uh, also the same. And if it's an expert one, 
also the same. But for now, we have the category working with GMC. So just click that, or if you don't click anything, you'll be able to scroll through all the masterclasses. So once you're there, just click and uh, you will be able to, sorry, I see people are messaging the website. I'm sorry, I will not be able to answer now, but yeah, it works. Um, so just go to one of those masterclasses and uh, you'll be able to watch the introduction and then you'll be able to see how many videos are there and how long the entire course is going to take you. So it's designed, we understand that there is a lot of uh, issues with internet and bundles. Um, so we just uh, create short, short videos that have transcriptions just to accommodate as many people as possible. So same thing we had done before. If you click the introduction video or the introduction uh, lesson, you should be able to open that and uh, you'll be able to play it, uh, watch it. Hi, I'm Jeremiah Kipainoi. I'm the Director of Communications at the Global Media Campaign to NFGM. And I am going to take you through the four things you need to know before you sign up to become an NFGM campaigner on the media. In the years we've been operating, we've learned that in order to get NFGM media campaigners up and running in their own countries, we first need to help you get together, preferably in person. So it's the same concept. So uh, watch it and as you continue with the class, uh, you'll be able to you'll be able to uh, read if you prefer reading uh, everything uh, also for future references. So that's how it uh, it's designed to work. And um, I had forgotten to show you something, I'm sorry. Uh, so next to the lesson plan, uh, the lesson list, which is basically here, um, next to the lesson list, which is uh, the arrow on the top left next to the little home, like the house icon, there's a green arrow pointing out. If you click that arrow, you'll be able to see the lesson list. And then there's also um, a section that says browse question and answer. So if you go to that section, um, let's, let's just say uh, I want to have to ask a question regarding one of the uh, videos that I watched. And in this case, I would say, uh, how do I sorry, apply for grants. And then you can put in your text. Um, let me just, I'll, uh, yeah, please let me know. So if you type that and um, you, you're able to format it the way you want and say, submit my question. This is going to be available to everyone that has uh, that uh, has access to that class that basically enrolled to that class and uh, people can assist you so i don't have to be there or anyone from t uh, from the uh, from gmc to to be there or answer your emails uh, you can always answer um, such questions and uh, you just uh, it's a community so we just help each other so if you can uh, try uh, answer that that's going to be good and then um, basically that's the concept I'm going to introduce you later to announcements but that's not as uh, uh, crucial to how to navigate uh, now um, so yeah basically that's uh, that's it all right so I stop sharing my screen now and uh, I open the field to any questions that are there and uh, try to answer as many as I can. If it's overwhelming, please let me know. And I'll also try to um, explain it as much as possible. Yeah, also um, Alice will advise us um, because we have uh, Lisa who's also going to, who's joined us. Thank you, Lisa. And we are just going to, to have a conversation about, because I know there are, there are a few people who are here um, and have not interacted with GMC before. So they, we also have a, an open session where we'll be able to um, speak with everyone and their experiences working with GMC. And uh, yeah, so I would like to open it up to any questions regarding the website or any challenges you're facing, and I'll be able to answer them. On that uh, end, I see I sat to 
Tian Diallo. I asked the question, but it's in French. I can't speak French, so Alice will help us with that one. All right, Alice is, uh, is going to respond to that question. Um, and I can see she's typing as well, so that's okay. So if you have any questions, please uh, put them on the question and answer section that we can uh, see them. And if you have anything to say, please raise your hand up. It's on the bar below on the uh, Zoom um, on the Zoom platform. Yes, it's open now. Jeremiah, I just I was wondering we we we're, we should maybe talk a little bit about the time scale when we 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 hope to have the other master classes in place. So, uh, you know, what wh what do you think realistically about you know what our time scale will be to share with people where you can go and you know look at some of the other classes? Uh, we plan on rolling out two more master classes uh, on safeguarding um to end uh, or basically safeguarding while uh, working on the field um and also we are going to roll out a master class as well um on uh, how to work on the media uh later this year and then we also roll uh, others as as they come it's really intense um and uh it's going to give you a package in case you're wondering okay i'm, I'm i've been campaigning on the field every day but i have never done it on the media how do i do it how do i approach a radio a radio uh a radio journalist how do we get access to a radio show how do how do i write a press release something of uh things along those lines i uh, will have master classes that will be covering those issues so um those are going to be coming up and uh always check on your emails because uh, for every masterclass we have, we always reach out and let you know that it's happening. Thank you. All right, I'm just, uh, um, for democracy reasons, <laughs> I'm going to uh, allow you to talk. You don't necessarily have to talk if you don't have it to say, but I'm just uh, allowing everyone to have the opportunity to ask uh, the question live. Uh, and not just to type. So if you have any questions or you're able to speak uh, on your end, uh, raise your hand up and uh, we are happy to to go together. Yeah. All right, so everyone now has the opportunity to speak. All right, so I see Colin Sorono. He's raising his uh, his hand up. His hand up. <laughs> Go on, Colis. All right, thank you, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Jeremiah and uh, Maggie and the rest of the team. Uh, I'm glad uh, to have um, uh, to be uh, working with uh, GMC on a few things. Uh, just a, a question. Um, is 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 maybe in terms of campaigns? Uh, is uh, maybe our campaigners only restricted maybe to be coming from those areas where FGM is, or it's still a matter of uh, maybe creating awareness across uh, maybe the different countries? It can be maybe you're not from a community that practices F practices FGM, but we still feel the need of uh, creating awareness in whichever community you come from um maybe you i just need a clarification on that um i'll give you an example collins on my end um i did the end of gm podcast and i was speaking to people from different um parts of um of the country some from the practicing communities and others who are doing um uh, things outside the NFGM campaign, but are related. For example, we had lawyers, someone who is not a lawyer, but is from the practicing community, is, 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 is a lawyer and not from a practicing community, but is also dealing with the issues, uh, with FGM issues on a daily basis. So uh, I, I believe, and maybe we could also have a discussion in the long run, but I think that as long as you are in the NFGM campaign in the field and uh, you're making an impact, I think, uh, nothing should constrain or restrain us. 
maybe has uh, Maggie Alice you can also chip, in, chip into that um, yeah I'm, I'm just I'm just trying to just in terms of understanding the question Collins is it uh, so you're from a community where it's not practicing are you saying because they're not practicing in your community can you take part in the campaign or what exactly is your example Yes, that's a question. Uh, maybe if someone is not is not coming from that community that practices practices FGM, but they feel uh, that need to maybe create awareness, uh, maybe using the media, uh, can they be part of? The, can they participate in these campaigns? Well, 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 Collins, I'm I'm in I'm in North London, and I'm not coming from a community that's practicing, and I'm part of the campaign. So I think anybody who cares about FGM can, can passionately and believes in it should should be part. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Collins. Um, Collins, uh, do you have someone else who has a question, or should we call it a day? Uh, with this section, is it looks like everyone has understood uh, what we what presenting. Uh, please raise your hand up if you would like to speak, and I'll be able to identify and let you and unmute your microphone. Um, Mildrin uh, Sabuami says, "What are the most advant advantages of working with GMC as a local journalist in Kenya?" Um, Let me just go straight to that. I think um, I wouldn't. Know, I, I I don't know if it's an advantage really, but um, they are. I think it's going to make your work easy in the long run, because uh, we work with a network of campaigners uh, from uh, all the hotspot counties in the country, and uh, we are just trying to make sure that there is a smooth way to. Uh, link journalists and activists throughout the country to have as many stories as possible on the radio. So for you, if you are a producer, if you are a journalist, if you are an editor, you would be able to get people who are already on the ground and doing their work and they have the contacts, influencers as well, chiefs, survivors. Uh, we also uh, work with now politicians and um, all the people that the community listens to, uh, you'll have more access to them. So I think that would make your work easy as a journalist. In the long run um yeah if you have anything to add please uh, raise your hand and uh, we will be uh, letting you speak um yeah anyone else who has a question is it clear for everyone can I just add something as well, Jeremiah, as a former journalist, because I used to be a journalist at The Guardian, that actually one of the advantages for journalists, if you are on the WhatsApp, WhatsApp group and you're part of the campaign, is that there's fantastic stories, things that are happening. You know, there's the pulling down of the hot or there's a report of a girl who's been who's bleeding or has been taken to hospital or somebody or somebody has died sometimes. But I mean, it's important because there's a there's a flow of authentic, accurate information about what, what's happening on FGM throughout the country. So it's really to, to increase the volume of reports on FGM but it's a really great great source and you can go on that group immediately and say can we verify this can anybody else confirm that this is happening so this is really important for a journalist I mean it's it's in a way it's a godsend if you're a journalist to be part of the GMC I think really important for a journalist to, to be part of the GMC all right sorry um, I'm not sure if I'm still there or I lost you okay so um, I think I'll just uh, give it on to uh, Lisa um, and uh, please keep on shooting your questions if you have, but it looks like uh, most of us are on the, uh, on, the, on the right lane. I see Isaac Kipte. Isaac, please unmute and uh, go on. I see. Hi. Yes, thank you for uh, this opportunity. Uh, my question is, I'm not a journalist, but I'm a teacher. But my main interest is uh, fighting against uh, FGM and GBV, mostly in the interior parts of uh, Mount Elgon. That is when it comes to Kenya, uh, the western part. Now, my question is, uh, 
if, for example, I've been given the funds by uh, GMC, am I only supposed to focus on the media aspect or I can carry some activities on the ground? Thank you. All right, I'll just uh, give that to Maggie. Um, Isaac, I, I think one of the things that's important is that, that, it, that it needs to have a media element. So, for example, in Sierra Leone, we work with Rugiatu Toure, who is doing a lot of community work in the ground uh, and say in terms of, you know, um, so, so, for example, if I was thinking off the top of my head, I would say, you're a teacher in a school, you're an activist in that you want to end this. So you could organize uh, some an, an event, but you need to make sure that uh, maybe it's a radio listening group. Maybe at the end of the event, you pick the best of the kids who talk about what's happened to them and put together something that you could put on radio. We are amplifying what, what, what has been done on the ground, but everything you put into the GMC needs to have a media element. So, so for example, sometimes we have a religious leader who's on the radio for half an hour. Like, so 90% of it is the religious leader talking on the radio. Whereas for you, you could do an event in school, which 70% of it might be having a group of kids talking or teachers talking or a survivor talking. But the bit that you amplify on the radio will be the best talker, maybe speaking on the radio if their parents agree with them or, you know, that we, we do, do due diligence and guidance. So think about the media uh, element. It's about amplification. But of course, you can do work on the ground. Is that clear? Yes, thank you. Thank you. It is very much clear. Thank you. So what are you, what, what are you thinking, for example, Isaac? It would be interesting to know what what would you like to do oh like recently i wanted to carry out an activity uh which was engaging the elders in the community uh but i had to shift it to go direct to radio talks uh, instead of carrying it on the ground on the fear of how am i supposed to carry it out but uh, i think it was successful still so that's why i was asking about is it only am i supposed to channel it direct to the uh, media aspect or i can carry out the activity on the ground and then bring it now for amplification or on the media thank you thank you so i think it's clear you carry out the activity and then the best of the speakers in a way it's it's like a kind of pr preparing the media campaign that the best person then you bring to the radio to share um on the radio what happened that would qualify for us as a as a media uh, for a media grant something that uh, something that i would add on that is um sometimes you might uh, get really nice clips during such events and uh, you might also have an opportunity to go on a radio station sometimes the radio station um, you might not have the funds maybe you didn't get a grant from gmc but just as a tip you would uh, probably record uh what they're saying get nice clips and build a good relationship with the local journalists that work in your area send it to them because it's useful as a news bite or they're going to use it in their program so send it to them and uh pitch to them to see if they could air it in the long run so uh the goal by the end of the day is to make sure that your campaigns are amplified whether or not you have grants which of course uh, we roll out on a, a regular basis but if you have access to uh, such gatherings, it's always nice to also think about a way to creatively engage with the people and make sure that the content is on radio. So you can also find a way to collaborate with journalists on the ground and um, just make sure that your, your work is amplified as much as possible. And the masterclasses that are coming up will cover some of these things. Um, what do journalists uh, look for? What are you looking for as a campaigner? And how can you synergize? And uh, yeah, so that's uh, uh, that was a good one. Thank you very much, uh, Isaac. I also see a question from Facebook uh, by Abdikadir Mohammed. He says, "If we if we have youth ac advocates within our network, is there a way they can be uh, NFGM campaigners?" I think becoming a campaigner doesn't need to be um, uh, to be I don't know, approved by GMC you are an NFGM media campaigner by your own right. 
we are only there to support your activities uh, your activities so um if you are already doing it on the ground you're already an nfg uh, campaigner uh, ours is just to provide some support uh, to help you know go from your place to the radio station uh, maybe carry along an influencer an elder a chief uh, someone who people would listen to an ex cutter if you prefer it's you to make the decision um, but in the long run you are already a campaigner with or not uh, without with or without uh, GMC being um, there uh, you already are a campaigner if you're doing it the thing is we're just there to support your work uh, so yeah the advocates are already campaigners maybe the question would uh, maybe I would think of it this way um, how can they work with GMC uh, the course that we are launching today is going to help you understand that on how to uh, make you how to you know get trainings that's online as well as in person uh, how to access direct action media grants how to report the grants and how to uh, keep in touch with GMC so yeah I hope that answers your question Lois uh, Adermo says, I wrote a comic book on a story which helps to create awareness on female genital mutilation for the girl, child. Is there a way I could share it to people around the countries with FGM? Yes, there is a way. We always uh, believe in uh, having uh, amplifying work as much as possible. So uh, if it's going to make a difference in the NFGM campaign, we'll always find a way. So always reach out on email or on the chat box if you prefer on the website. Um, but you can always send an email to info at globalmediacampaign.org and um, someone is going to come back to you on that regard. So on special uh, occasions, if you need to uh, inquire and uh, you probably don't want to wait for the next round of direct action media grants. You can always reach out on uh, GMC's email, uh, info at uh, globalmediacampaign.org. Jeremiah, may I just suggest an, another thing? I mean, a comic book could could work also as an animation. You know, so maybe you know if it's if it it might it might it might not. But you know, if if you applied for a grant to turn the comic book into a thirty second animation that we could maybe use as a TV jingle, you know, so, so think, how do I transform this into something that can be amplified? So that would be one way it, you know, it mightn't work, but you know, people must always ask, I've got an idea, could, would this work? And we can talk about, maybe it won't work like that, but it could work like that. So a comic book could be a TV ad. It could be an animation. Just ask, think, brainstorm. Thanks a lot, Maggie. I see Michael Kishoyan saying, uh, I'm from Kenya. How can students be in, engaged? Uh, how can students be engaged in ending FGM and other forms of GBV among girls and women? Uh, I think I had uh, mentioned that. I think if you have the passion and uh, the drive, uh, take the master classes on our website. If you want to, if you're asking, basically asking, how can you be involved uh, in the same while working with GMC? Take courses that are relevant for, on our website, and that's going to be rolled over time. But also uh, join the WhatsApp group in country. Reach out if you don't know which one it is. Um, and always be on the loop. We normally send out newsletters um, that give uh, that share opportunities and uh, the progress as well in country as well as outside the country. So um, yeah, just be in the loop. On the WhatsApp groups, you'll be able to join and see everything um, happening right live. So. Yeah, I hope that answered answers my question, Michael. Um, someone also asks, why work with GMC when you are a journalist? And I probably would give this to Lisa, as Lisa uh, was among the first people to receive grants for GMC. And um, yeah, before we go to Shamir. 
why work with GMC when you were a journalist? Lisa, you there? Come on. Hi. Hello, everybody. Hi, Lisa. Hi, um, thank you for having me. Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Lisa and uh, I live in the Gambia in West Africa. I have been part of the GMC team from the onset. And uh, one of the things that really stands out for me is the, the consistency and the persistence um, from the team. Um, to be an activist, uh, like Jeremiah said, before it has to be in you it is in you you're born with it but it is not something that gmc gives you it is something that has been with you but what gmc gives you is the platforms and the capacity to the skills that you need to communicate or to bring out that person in you to share ideas and to convince people because ending fgm and sexual and gender-based violence as a whole is about changing perception it's about being able to communicate well. It's about being able to get people's attention. And, uh, you know, that's, that's a lot of skills. Um, you need a lot of skills to be able to do that. So with GMC, like I said before, it is the consistency and also the persistence in, in, in fighting to end FGM, but also using a medium, which is media, a powerful medium that is used around the world that is the easiest way to get access to people all around the world, wherever you are. You know, even if you live in the remotest villages, there is always a way of communicating with people using media. I have used this from 2014 to date. Um, I come from a country where people were not comfortable enough to talk about FGM on the radio. And I can say, I have no proof again, because I haven't done any study on this, but I can say, from the launch of the media campaign in Gambia in 2014 after the Media Academy, there has been a, a huge shift in terms of um, people's uh, willingness to talk about FGM and also um, the support generally um, for people to talk about FGM on the radio stations. Um, back in the days, you don't talk about FGM or GBV on TV and radio. It was practically even banned on, on national mediums in Gambia. But since after the launch, you know, it has grown. It has been growing on a daily basis. Community radios, not just uh, national, but community radios now comfortable talk about FGM. Even without funding from GMC, they hold their own program on FGM, which is a big win. Um, it is difficult, like I said, to end FGM or to even uh, be able to measure um, especially coming from a Gambia, when people are taught when they're much younger to measure the impact of what you're doing. But just being able to talk about FGM on the radio, for me, is a big win. And it could only be achieved with the support that we get from GMC. Not just the funding, but the skills and the capacity development that you get working with GMC is um, extremely helpful for grassroots activists and journalists. Thanks a lot, Lisa. You you were the first uh, among the first people, if not the first person, to ever receive a grant from GMC. And uh, yeah, I think we'll just talk about maybe your journey in a few minutes, uh, so that someone can understand how everything works and uh, what's the call it a vibe working with GMC in the long run. But I see uh, Ali Mohammed's uh, comments asking Jeremiah. Oh, my name is Ali Mohammed. I have difficulties on making our sponsors log in my activities both videos and pictures i don't know if uh, i understood you well but i'm just going to share something that's also really important for us to know that it exists uh, if you go to the global media campaign website um, that's globalmediacampaign.org uh, you should be able to see um, if you scroll down a little bit you'll see this section that says who are the activists trained and funded by gmc and then down here, you, um, you should be able to see your name if you've written your report and it's been uploaded. So for for this, for example, Ali, uh, assuming this is this is your report, I'm not sure if it's yours exactly, but if you click uh, your name, uh, say Ali Mohammed, uh, should be able to see all the reports written uh, by you um, while you are working with GMC, and that just goes a long way in 
uh, making sure that you are able to you know uh, expand so you do, don't necessarily need to depend or you know and um rely on GM, gmc to uh, give you grants for the media you can always apply and this is a good resource for every report you write i uh, just know that it's going to be published on the website and you can always use it uh, as a link um and yeah so you can you can send it to other people you know people you've worked with or campaigners or anyone that needs that content uh, if you're right uh, applying for grants as well you can also use it so i just wanted to bring that to your attention and uh, something else that I think is relevant for us to know, uh, if you go to campaigns by country, by going to about and down there campaigns by country, you should be able to see what exactly is happening in your country and what basically is the summary. Um, we are still updating it as we go, but uh, it's very easy. Just go there and click. Um, if it's you're from Guinea and you are interested in what people are doing in Guinea, if it's in Kenya, if it's in Nigeria, Sierra Leone, you should be able to uh, see what's happening. For example, if you click Kenya in this case, you'll be able to see a summary of what FGM is. And I think this is also really useful for the campaigners. And also in terms of getting people who already are working on the ground and are active, you can always read and view their stories and reach out to them as well. So uh, it's divided into uh, countries and these are the latest. And uh, if you click one of them, you'll be able to see all the campaigners that are working in each of these countries. So I encourage you to take some time. I think it's very valuable information to just know who is working where, what are they doing, and uh, what are their success stories, or what are their challenges, because all of them are found in each and every of this, uh, one of these reports. And uh, finally, I think just um, as I, th I feel like it's really important for us to understand how to reach out if you're stuck, uh, always uh, feel free to reach out via, um, I think it's easier, just click this Let's Talk page, as I had told you earlier, I think that's easier and faster, and you can always uh, have a conversation uh, right away. So, yeah, yeah, sorry, I just get back to the masterclass and questions that uh, fall under that. I still see questions coming, Shamir, uh, Go. Uh, I can see that your hand is up. Uh, hi, I come from uh, Narok County, and uh, as you know, Narok, Narok uh, is one of the is marked as one of the hotspots on FTM. And uh, is somebody else speaking. Go go. Yeah, just me. I muted them. Sorry. Anyway, anyway, my my concern is. Um, it's kind of tricky to get um, to always get time on radio, and uh, in my county specifically. And uh, I work uh, currently. I work with uh, I've worked with a few NGOs, and uh, since I'm a religious leader and a community leader, I see it much more easier to get to the people on the ground because most people uh, they're living in the outskirts of the town. And there are such remote places that um, they don't have radios or access to that. There's no electricity, there's no nothing. So I was wondering, is it possible, maybe if I could do the work, um, let's say, on the ground, and then post it somewhere? Or also, if um, social media counts as a, uh, as a media, can, according to your rules, does it, does it work too? Because um, I have access to a few groups, I control a few groups on uh, social media like uh, Facebook and such, and uh, we I use those groups to disseminate information on different things. So if you would uh, kindly enlighten me on that, thanks. Maybe I would like to direct that to Maggie, but maybe before that, um, I think. For me, and uh, I, I worked with GMC, I think once or twice before um, uh, moving to the team, but uh, the way I saw GMC is um, how can it amplify already what I'm doing? So if you have access to such, such WhatsApp groups, go ahead and do the campaigns, reach out to those people. If there are no expenses, then definitely go uh, ahead and amplify them on those groups. Uh, I, I see GMC uh, coming in 
you know, in terms of airtime. I can't, I, I probably would be able to go to the radio station, but they would not allow me to go because I have to, you know, pay for airtime. I have to, uh, it's long. I need, I, I need some support in reaching the radio station, something of that sort. So for me, I, I, I would uh, say, if you have access to whatever tool you have, go for it. And um, I always say, the more work you put in, the more the world sees what you're doing and the more support comes to you. So, yeah, but I, I just maybe give it to Maggie uh, to share her thoughts as well. Yes, and thank you for that question. I mean, one of the things, so, so, so our, our focus is in media uh, and amplifying on the media what's being done. So, but I would say about the remote villages, one of the things that we did very successfully with Ifra Ahmed in, in Somalia was people didn't have radios, but radios are very cheap. You know, you can get a solar radio for ten dollars. So the thing is, let's let's talk about that. You know, if you say I am visiting, um, you know, these villages anyway to do your work. Well, then before you go, say I'm going to visit. You know, we we can we can buy radios for people, encouraging them to tune into this this work. That would be one thing. Um, the other thing is, you know, sometimes we we work with uh, projectors, you know, like where there would be a film about about FGM, which we can translate into the lo local language or voiceover, and you bring you bring that with you. You see, we, we, we're trying to speed this up. So in order to speed it up, it needs to be amplified. So uh, if you think about how to do that, we we we, we can we can support. But it, that's one suggestion: local radios or, or buying radios, which works well in Somalia. Does that answer the question? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Thank you very much. Uh, I work on ways to at least uh, be able to see how we can help with we how we can we can help each other in that. Yes, thanks. I mean, just to follow up on that, if you did go to a remote village and you know you met a family where where the, there had been problems i mean you there's stories everywhere there is a story everywhere or there's a midwife or there's a cutter in some village you meet who says i'm not going to cut anymore and then you can say ah that's somebody we should hear on the radio so so we could then support you to bring that person from the village to the radio station to talk about why she's not going to be a cutter or we could or we could talk about you know a mother who has lost a child because of fgm is she willing to speak out in the radio so we could support you to bring that mother to the radio to tell that story these are a few ideas oh, that's and an also excellent idea too because uh yeah, excuse me that's an excellent idea to bringing uh people who are survivors and people who are practicing yes, uh, who used to practice uh, FGM, because I think it's better to work with people from the grassroots, and uh, you don't always get a positive, uh, uh, positive welcome from the people. Sometimes you go and uh, the people uh, who are practicing FGM or, or at the particular villages you go to, um, things could get out of hand. So I like to go with people from the from the community, from the particular community I'm going to. I like to go with someone from that particular community. So. It's kind of easier, and uh, there's a different appreciation to people when they see people they know, not just uh, you're a stranger, they've never seen you before, and you just come with news and uh, telling them to fit on their cultural practices. So that could help too. And do you think a video in the local language would be good explaining the medical effects that you could use to, to, when you travel around? Is that something that would be useful? I think it will be very useful because um, I've seen a video on a different on a different matter. I've seen uh, the same videos being used to to educate people. And uh, you see, the Maasai community they used to they are warriors. Before you are turned into a moran, a Maasai warrior is called a moran. You had to go and have kill a lion or something, and they used to hunt lion a lot. So I've seen such videos used to help uh, people to help teach um, the youth and the boys in the most uh, the hunting of lions has, has gone down significantly because of those videos in the local videos are produced in the local dialect 
Yes. So that's the kind of thing we, 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 we could help with. And then afterwards, you bring the people who say they've changed their mind to the radio to amplify it further. So just think, think okay. media. Okay, okay. I'll, uh, I'll talk with the few people we work with and we'll see how to go about that. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I know uh, in Arak Shamir we have uh, Mayan, we have uh, we have uh, the other radio station in Narok, I don't remember exactly the name, uh, Sidai, and uh, I'm pretty sure Nosim also uh, goes to that area, the locals here. So, sorry. Um, so, yeah, don't don't just con, con, uh, concentrate on the, the the radio station that are based in that village, but also think of Mayan that many people listen to, but it's a little bit further away from Narok. Uh, but many people in Narok actually listen to it. So, uh, just finding a way to such radio stations also help in the long run if you have those conversations. So it, they don't necessarily need to be um, in your home village for you to access that radio station. The idea is to get to reach as many people who will be uh, helped by this message uh, in that area as much as possible. Okay, thank you very much. All right, uh, Abdul Rahman, I see on the comment box is saying that you wanted to say something. Please go ahead. Um, Sorry, we can't hear you. Are you using headphones? Maybe your microphone is muted. No, I'm not using headphones. You're a little bit muffled, so I can't hear you well. Can you hear me now? All right, now you're good to go. Yeah. Now you okay. can hear you. Yes, uh, yes my name is Abu yes, Raman Bangua. I'm working for Amazonia Initiative Movement, M for short, Sierra Leone. Um, it's an organization established since 2003 um, we've worked tremendously to the end of fgm in our company um, we've done so much programs and we've worked with um, gmc and i think we are recognized by maggie and other people um, working with the team um, as an organization we we've been the first organization that has ever um, done a public declaration for more than twice in our country, and we are still working um, to end the um, dangerous act, which is the feminist in our country. Um, today, um, I am happy to be in the work now. And um, as it goes on, there will be anything you will like to ask or want to know from our work um, i'm here as um one of the employees to talk on behalf of my director and i guess my colleagues will also join us soon thanks a lot abdul for that and uh yeah let's keep interacting uh on the chat box as well but thank you very much for that i see lola ibrahim your hand is up Okay, um, Jeremiah. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. Can I speak? Yes, go ahead. I don't know if you can hear me. Okay, we so thank you very much for this um, opportunity. My um, my own um, contribution is more of a question. Um, I appreciate the work GMC is doing. Um, global media campaign to end FGM. I just want to ask if it's possible for GMC to also maybe extend some support to survivors um, in terms of maybe providing medical care or mental care, any kind of support, if that is possible. I know most of the work they do is to amplify, you know, um, the campaign that activists are doing. Then um, secondly, uh, Maggie mentioned something about solar powered radios that um, you know, they worked in collaboration with IFRA Foundation. So I was wondering if that um, can also be extended to some remote villages in Nigeria, because um, we all know Nigeria is big, over 200 million people, and um, the data we might have might either be underreported or not even in some places not even reported at all. But if we have radios in some of these villages and they're able to listen 
to the campaign of activists in local languages. I think um, it's a very long way. Thank you again, Jeremiah. Thanks a lot, Lola. I think I'll just pass that to Maggie um, on the radio's um, issues. Yeah, well, first of all, thank you, Lola. Unfortunately, in terms of supporting survivors, we, 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 we think we must do what we, we do, which is a uh, media. And um, so we focus on that rather than setting up support groups. Uh, so, but when you mention the radio, it's um, uh, exactly that. Uh, radios are very cheap. We did it in Somalia. We can do it in Nigeria. UNFPA are now supporting this work to get support the grassroots activists to use the media to amplify. So you need to send in your proposal for the next round of direct action grants and say which radios, which which villages, which languages. Um, and that's definitely something that is a really useful thing to do. OK, great. I will um, take that up. Thank you very much, Maggie. Thank you. All right, thank you. Um, more questions can come in, are coming in, but uh, we don't have much more time uh, to go. So um, I will, uh, and I hope that your microphone is now uh, and is now working well. I'll give it to Isaiah Marisi. Please make it very short and straight to the point. Um, yeah. So yeah. Isaiah Marisi. Okay, uh, who else has his hand up? I see you again, Ali Mohammed. Did you want to speak or it's an old hand? All right, so I think I just bring this to an end and uh, maybe pass it on to... Uh, oh, no, no. Uh, hello. All right. Hi, Ali. Are you, are you trying to say something? Someone also joined in, in, an, in a Galaxy M11. Hello. Oh. Yeah, go go on, uh, Ali, if you if you enter to speak. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think you should just go forward. Um... Hello. Yes, Ali, go on. Uh, Jeremiah, yes. anyone can hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Uh, I just had a small request and opinion. Yeah. Uh, I was busy these days uh, trying to make a small video in the northern region of Kenya concerning about how the things are going on so that I can make as an educative article or documentary. Uh, I had now a problem. Uh, this, my locality people, they understand the language, but I wanted to someone to help me how to make a language substitute there in English or in another language so that the people, other people can understand actually what the local dialect means to them. That's the only request I was just making. Uh, if any person has the knowledge better than me, it's welcome. On that, um, Ali, I think uh, I could help. Um, and uh, I think that's also a good point to do. Uh, you could just do a tutorial on how to uh, do such transcriptions so that everyone can benefit from it. So it could be one of our master classes. Um, but if it's something that we'll be doing in the next one or two weeks, um, I've done that uh, professionally and also worked with a lot of indigenous communities. So um, I'm pretty sure that it would be helpful if we just go through it. Um, yeah, so reach out, write an email or just reach out, find a way to reach out on WhatsApp, whichever, and we will, uh, yeah, see how to do it. Yeah, and for anyone else um, who needs any of that, support sometimes um yeah always reach out and we'll try our best to help 
if I don't know, I would I'll just tell you I genuinely don't know. But uh, if I do know, I'll, I'll yeah I'll do my best to help. And yeah, I also would encourage everyone to just share as much as possible within the WhatsApp groups because we have so many experienced um, people in the campaign with different skills. So don't suffer alone in the grass uh, on the ground, uh, and and someone can just easily help. So yeah, make that a hub where you can always make some uh, value from, yeah. Should we call it a day now? I see uh, some people are still chatting uh, from Facebook. I'm receiving some messages uh, from Alice who is uh, supporting us from the background. Uh, Marisi Isaiah from Facebook says, we have challenges at the village level. Most people at the village where FGM is high cannot access most media for information. So I think we mentioned um, uh, the radio aspect. Sometimes it's the physical device and sometimes it's the signals. So for me, I always say campaigners need to know what works in their community, especially in regards to media. You know, if there is no if there is no signal in your community, how many, no matter how many radio stations, uh, no, no matter how many radios you have in your house, you probably will not get any use so i think uh we need to see what works for you in your community is it uh you know is it radio is it tv is it um a projector that you take around and uh, show people a video and have discussions all that is media um is it you know um a, a podcast that you would like to enlighten the world i don't know but just keep thinking innovate you know it's also a really technological world so I just encourage everyone to think about what the issues are on the ground and how can you solve them. And um, as I had said earlier, GMC is not there to uh, push any ideas. It's like, I have this idea, it's a great one, it works for in, for our community. And then can you guys support? And if there is a budget, you definitely will. So yeah. And I see Maggie's hand is up as well. And Lola, is that an old hand? Lola? Maybe it's so an old I, hand. Yeah, just go ahead, Mikey. Yeah, I just wanted to say, um, because uh, we're coming up to 16 days of activism, uh, which begins on the 24th of November, um, and um, on the 25th of November, it's uh, the the special day of violence, gender-based violence. So we're, we're, we're spreading things a little bit more coming up to this and encouraging you to um, FGM is just one form of gender-based violence. So what 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 really what matters to you in your community? Is it an issue of child marriage? Is it breast ironing? Um, is it sexual violence? So we, we're also opening up the next round of grants to say, um, what what would you like to do a media campaign on for the for 16 days of activism? And we'd really encourage you to think beyond FGM for the next round of grants. Uh, you know, you're running this campaign. We're here to support you in what you think is important in your community. I think that is excellent, Maggie, because um, in some places FGM is not um so prevalent but sexual abuse rape and you know other gender-based violence are really really on the increase so it's good that um, they're opening up good so we look forward to hearing ideas about how we can do that do that on the media or if you've got you know women who are prepared to speak out or survivors who are prepared to speak out you know just just think creatively and think what you want to do and and uh, then the proposals can come in i mean we're looking for these proposals in the next two weeks or so it's not long until uh, the 24th of November. So start thinking about what those other subjects are and um, communicating with us. Jeremiah, what's the most efficient way we should be doing this? Through the WhatsApp groups, through the local activists? How would you suggest we do it most efficiently? I think um, for me and everyone else would probably have a different opinion, but I think the WhatsApp groups are good because we have the opportunity to discuss and sift every idea that we have. and. Yeah, it's also an open place. So, yeah, I think it's a good learning place because the thing is, uh, um, we we are not a very big team at GMC and we try our best to delegate as much as possible. So if you can always reach out to someone who can answer your questions, uh, that's good. If someone else from GMC can also help, definitely be happy to do that. 
Jalaba, uh, please, I have yeah. one last question. Yes, Lola. Yes. Um, when you send out um, the um, request for grant, is it only open to activists who are on the WhatsApp platforms or we can rebroadcast and um, other people can apply? I don't know. I think that should be, um, Maggie would more, are we able to answer that one better? I mean, I th the first thing you do if you're interested is that you join the WhatsApp group. So you, if, if you're on this uh, webinar now and you're not on the WhatsApp group, then, you know, we, you, you, so we, we, we find out who is the person in each country who can add you to the group and just talk to them and say, I want to be added to the group um, and, and say why, and you could be added to the group. So if, if you want to know how to, the person to contact in Nigeria, or we will put up a list of the people who run the WhatsApp groups and who to contact if you want to join. That's the first step. Um, and I think, I think that's the most efficient way to do it. And then you can learn, you can see discussions, you can get ideas. So join the WhatsApp group and we will provide the contacts for that. Is that okay, Jeremiah? That's the best yeah. way to get started. And then, yeah. then you, it'll take it from there. Yeah. I also see someone saying, and I think this is a really important question. Um, Hello, Kipaino and Alice. I applied for GMC during International Day of the Girl, but I wasn't successful. Was it that it was very competitive? I hope my application will go through this time round. Thanks. So on that, um, I think it's really important because um, everything is, is, is tied on what GMC really has. Uh, and uh, uh, yes, it's competitive. And uh, we try as much as possible to have as much uh, of the grants going out for every round of direct action grants that goes. Um, but I would encourage you to go to the website and look at what all the successful grantees uh, are doing on the ground and try to uh, think about how what what kind of uh, work they are doing, the ones that they already did, because all the reports are on the website on the, on the news section. Uh, you can always check what other campaigners are doing, uh, what uh, what idea you had, and um, uh, just see uh, if you could uh, implement some of the things. Because I think the best thing is to learn from each other. Just see who applied for the grants, how they did it, and uh, how would you also apply for the same. Um, it's competitive, so sometimes there are good grants. Uh, sorry, there are some up good applications, and they uh, uh, but if there is no if, if uh, the, the amount of funding is probably not enough for that direct action grant um, then um, yeah probably not everyone is going to to get it but uh, I would encourage you keep innovating keep uh, applying and uh, it's yeah I think it's gonna it's gonna get better with time as we also work together and yeah fundraise to get more front funds yeah Jeremiah could I just add something? It's a bit difficult because we are a really, really small team and it's really hard to give feed feedback. Uh, so, you know, maybe we could give one line of feedback and say not, uh, not, you know, not, not the reach is not big enough or you need more radio stations or funding is very short for Kenya the, 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 in this session. We can, we can just give one or two lines because it's, it takes a lot of work to respond. But I think we should try and do that and say, try again next time, but it needs to have five radio stations or one radio station. So I think we should try and do that a little bit, but it'll be very brief just to give so, some guidance. And, um, you know, again, I think we should mention UNFPA and I keep doing this because we've been going for seven years and in the last year, UNFPA now recognizes the value of all of your work and the value of this grassroots work. So, you know, we hope to get bigger and give more grants and give more feedback. So we'll try and do that. Thanks, Margie. I see Peter Keme um, has raised his hand up. Um, yes, thanks, thanks, Jeremiah, for for the opportunity. I just wanted to add on what Maggie has, has just said when it comes to to grants. Uh, well, first is it it will be hard if you are not in the WhatsApp groups to get a grant because remember there is a system called Triple A that GMC is employing, and and this Triple A is more. Uh, community kind of working relationship. So it's important that we share a common group. It's more of a peer group so that when you apply for grant, at least there is some kind of uh, uh, interaction between 
the grantee and the triple A. And the second thing is, yes, the grants are competitive, but guys should not fear to apply. There are some cycles, grant cycles, where in Kenya, all the grantees that applied were given grants. Uh, but sometimes uh, you apply and uh, a few of you misses out and a uh, few more get, depending on the, on the availability of funds, of course, from GMC. Uh, and lastly, when it comes to feedback, I believe, Maggie, this has been done, but through the WhatsApp group. Remember when we are announcing the successful grantees, they usually attend the recent to, to the groups. So if you do not get a grant, you are notified that you missed out. Maybe you can just restructure that text to probably say the reason why you, who, we picked the, the ones who were successful and those who did not succeed to try the next cycle. Those are the three things that I just wanted to add. Thank you. That's a very good idea, Peter. Yeah, just to encourage people and give more explanation, yeah. Thanks a lot, PC. I see Rukia too, and then finally, I think we'll have Walter Mounde. Walter Mounde, and uh, I think we close it there. Rukia too. Hello. All right, Walter, you are there. Go on. Yeah, Jeremy, so I just to say thank you so much for the session. Uh, there are a few things. You know, I've been a member of the GMC WhatsApp group and I've been following you on social media. Sorry, we are losing you a little bit, Walter. We can hardly hear you. Um, can you hear me now? Yes, a little bit, yeah. Just go on. Okay, hoping you can hear me. Yes, we can now hear you. So I was saying um, there are new things I've learned uh, about GMC today. Uh, although I've been part of the WhatsApp group, that is the Kumakucha group, and uh, I've also received grants from GMC before. So uh, thank you for the good work that you're doing, complementing the activities that we are having in the ground. Uh, maybe a question I could have uh, is uh, on the reports. So whenever we implement an activity, uh, on my side I do uh, reports and I share. Now, is it okay if I can also share reports on other media activities that are not funded by GMC? Or if I could like to write an opinion uh, about FGM or uh, an observation, something that is quite key on FGM in my area, uh, can it be published on the GMC website? I think yes. For me, I think that's a really good thing to, and and I think that's that's what we really um, hope to achieve by the end of the day. Because um, by submitting such things, you also amplify some of your work. Um, so I think it will not be a report per se, because reports generally are. Um, from the grants, what you've, what you've done and what impact it's had. But you can uh, always come up with a category that says campaigners take or what camp campaigners uh, stories or I don't know. We can always come up with something that you can always uh, say, I really want to write about medicalization in Kisi County, where you come from or Nyamira. And uh, it's a topic that is, you know, how can we better uh, engage people in that topic and you can do something extensive. And you can always share uh, that, but uh, yeah, yeah. I just think it's it's really good that uh, we can also get personal perspectives and not just um, you know uh, from the direct action grants, but also uh, stories that come from the ground and see what works and what doesn't and why as well. And, and I think Jeremy, there is a section that we just introduced on the EGMC website that of the. Uh, human stories where where activists are requested. Um, six something I left to do. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, where, where where you are requesting that uh, people to share their stories. Now these stories are not limited to what has been funded by GMC only. So Walter and the, anyone else who wants to share these stories, use that option to share uh, what you are doing, the impact it's doing and uh, be sure that it will be published on the, on the website. 
but, but you introduce another phenomena with I, I think Jeremy will work on to ensure that maybe there is against uh, blog or publication or opinion on the blog uh, on the website so that it, it gives more details on what you want to capture in form of an article. And uh, yes, and lastly, just to say this, uh, unlike other, other donors, GNC really does not have so much restrictions on what you need to submit for you to get a grant. I think as at now, what I've only seen as the basic qualification is you sharing a WhatsApp group you know, with the other team members that have gone through the online uh, the online and physical training uh, who are graduates of, of GMC and also probably participated in these uh, webinars and you know how and what is required of you in application. So these grants are purely based on the trust that GMC has between uh, GMC and the grantees. Uh, and we encourage you that uh, you do take this terms that apply. The restrictions are very minimal. Apply for those grants and uh, hopefully you'll be shortlisted and you will get to go to implement your great ideas. Thank you. Thank you very much, PC. Uh, this is something that you mentioned that I think will also help. Um, if you want to share one of your stories, yes. just... Sorry for that. Uh, kindly mute your microphones. Um, yeah, so if you go to the GMC website, you will see on the top menu, a section that says my FGM story. And uh, you will see some of the things that, some of the text that was submitted by the campaigners. All you need to do is just click share your story or just simply scroll down you'll find this section so if you just click share my story it's going to scroll down by itself and you will be able to share your story um we we believe that um everyone should just be free to share their name in the long run but if you definitely are not uh comfortable with it then go ahead and share it uh, without a name and it's going to be marked anonymous so there's no place that's going to ask you to fill your name here but feel free to always uh say hi my name is this one and this and uh, uh this is my story and then uh once we approve because we get all kinds of submissions on this form uh so we have to go through a manual process of uh approving them but once we approve them they are going to be published on this page so i'm encouraging everyone if you have something that's you know, impactful in your life, in your community, in your activism work, and you want to share it out there, please uh, just go to the uh, tab that says my FGM story and uh, click it here uh, and, and submit it here and we'll be able to uh, look at it and publish it. So that could also be another option if you want to be published there. We still have a couple of hands and I'm not sure if we have uh, more time. But uh, I still see Rugieto's hand is up and uh, Walter's, Walter's hand and Abdul Rahman. Uh, if you allow me, let, uh, let's have those ones as the last ones. Um, and we will, if you have any other questions, please post them on the WhatsApp group or just email them or just go to the website and leave them with the chat box and you can chat there as well. Um, because those are some of the fastest ways we can have a conversation. So, uh, Abdul Rahman, your hand is there. Is it an old one? I also see Rukieto. Yes. Is it an yes. old hand? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Go on. Yes. Um, 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 I want to make my contribution um, from our work as an organization since um, our work with GMC is um, mostly on the media. And then um, um, I'm so happy as colleagues are uh, making contributions, um, suggesting for support of radio station, um, radios to remote areas. Um, we as an organization, um, since we're working um, in the media, um, what we do normally do is um, we have people, we have journalists, and we have um, practitioners that we always think um, these people are the people we take to the radio station because we want our message 
um, to each people and people who are involved, especially practitioners and also people who are involved, um, exemplary people who has gone through and those who are not yet to share their experience and then um, try to talk with people. With this, um, we've been doing um, across um, the country, Sierra Leone to be specific, in so many districts with journalists, um, with practitioners, with um, uncut girls and um, community stakeholders as well. We have religious leaders um, whom we are working with as an organization to spread this message for over the years um, and also joining up with GMC and this has been the work we've been doing which has been so much um, attention um, in our country to see how people are joining up um, in the fight against FGM. Though it's um, a bit hard, but um, we we want to see we are really progressing. We are really progressing, and we can see the progress, and we can see um, and from the media, from our calls, our text messages, from listeners. Their contributions always um, are in favor of our campaign. Um, people, some were um, ignorant about it. Um, some were say it was a mistake. But now the education is growing well, and um, they are really well educated about um, the, after, the effect of this, um, not only the immediate, but also the long-term effect of female genital coping. And using our own court guards, sharing their experience in the media, this has helped us in the fight so much. We are in, because they serve as example as people always use this word to convince their children, saying, if you don't go through the practice, you will scratch with this, with that. Sharing their experience as an court guard, saying, I'm on court, I'm this, I'm that. Have never gone to A, B, and C, or what, what all they are saying is not true. So, with this, um, our people normally accept. having the practitioners as well saying, I, I am Yasampa, I am Yabumpo, I am this. I've been in this work for two, three years, for 40 years, I've gained nothing. And all what I've been doing, I've realized that it's just some kind of wickedness. Now I've ready to join Amazonia Initiative Movement, GMC, to say no to FGM. I think um, this has helped us so much. Um, considering the number of initiatives um, that do um, happen, especially when we are um, fastly approaching December, you know, it's a holiday. People do normally use this month, do normally use um, this holiday to take our children to go to bush, to take them for initiation. But uh, with our intervention, engaging the education, talking to people, training mm. people, holding workshops, this has helped us so much. Thanks a lot, Abdul. Thanks a lot. And uh, we do appreciate your contribution as well. And uh, yeah, just uh, maybe as a closing remark, uh, uh, just calling to everyone to hold on and uh, let's keep uh, going forward. Um, work hard and uh, smart as well. Um, the, consider working on the media uh, with uh, the influencers in your community as well as linking up with journalists in the long run. So I think that's the uh, place I would like to stop uh, from. But before then, uh, in case maybe Maggie wants to close with something, but uh, I would encourage everyone to go to uh, the chat box. You will see uh, a link to the call for direct action grants that's uh, coming to an end, I think, soon. So if you can just make your application after this call, uh, then uh, you'll be able to submit before the deadline is done. That's the application for the 16 days of activism that Alice will share again, uh, maybe Alice, if you're able to, please just paste it as I can't see the link. I just paste it on the uh, contact, sorry, on the chat box uh, that you know, everyone can access it. Um, yeah, so from me, I'd like to say thank you very much. And uh, more so to Alice, uh, a lot of work on the background. Thank you very much for joining us, Lisa uh, and Maggie. 
uh, thank you very much uh, for contributing, uh, raising your hand and holding on until we are now here. So for me, I'd like to say thank you and uh, see you soon. Let's keep uh, talking and uh, play with the website today and let's see what we can do together and make everything work better. Thank you.